What's going on guys and today we have a drum setup tour. This is after Christmas and um yeah so let's come on down and I'll show you. So this is my um drum set. It has seven drums total and seven cymbals total if you're not counting the hi-hats. Um this is my drum throne. It's pretty simple, it's just some old D drum throne. It doesn't even have like a label on it or anything. It's super squeaky and it's really annoying, but whatever. It works, it's just something to sit on. So um, if we go start with the drums, this is a 14 by five and a half inch snare. This is a um, eight inch tom, 10 inch tom, 12 inch tom, 14 and 16 inch tom. Um, now I know there's mismatches heads, but I have to replace those. Um, yeah. So, the heads on these drums are, um, those are Remo pinstripes, and these are just stock D drum heads that suck. I like literally got this from two days ago, and it already has been sitting. It. It's pretty sad. Um, yeah. These drum heads have been used ever, and you see all the marks in them. Yeah. You can see how accurate they am because look at they're all over the head. <laughs> yeah, um, so let's get with the um, hardware. Oh, and this is a 22 by 18 inch bass drum. And the pieces of tape are there because um, my old beater sucked. Um, the the um, a screw actually came off and the, um, it split right through the head right here. The middle um, bar. Without the beater on it, so it just split right through right there in an S shape. And, um, so we catch that up, and then you see right here where my old beater hit, so dead. And then um, this is my Demonator double bass drum pedal. Um, it's really nice. I just got it, and um, yeah, they're super nice. And yeah, I really like them. So um, anyway, moving on to the symbols. This is Sabian SBR 14 inch hi hats. Um, this is a Sabian SBR 16 inch crash, Sabian SBR 18 inch crash, and Sabian SBR 20 inch ride. I have four fax symbols. This is, no. this is a Sabian SBR 10 inch flash. This is a Minel um, 8 inch flash. This is a Minel 12 inch um, China. And this is a Minel um, uh, 16 inch China. So yeah, I've quite the set. Um, I really like it. I just upgraded it. Um, I just got an add-on kit from D Drum. I got those two drums in the add-on kit because I used to have a five-piece drum set. This is these two, and this bass drum, and the snare. But then I added on this drum and then the eight and fourteen. So that's what I like about D Drum. Um, you don't have to buy every every little thing separately. You buy a um, five-piece drum set. You want to upgrade to a seven-piece. It's only $180 and it was on sale for 140 bucks. So really, your $500 drum set that had five pieces, just upgraded to set piece, it's only $680. It's the cheapest set I've ever found, the cheapest seven piece set that I've ever found. You're probably thinking, oh, the cheaper the set, the worse it's gonna sound. I think mine sounds pretty gr good. Um, I really like it. Um, the, um, and I got it in blue, obviously, in case you're colorblind. It's like a sparkly blue. See, it's kind of cool. Pretty nice. Um, and the sticks I use are these um, on-stage maple sticks. They're 5B. Um, and the reason why I just use some cheap sticks and I don't use Vic Firth like everybody else. Um, <laughs> I just hit the camera. But um, it's because I got 12 pairs of these for 20 bucks. But the Vic Fruit Sticks, if you get a set of 12 pairs, it's a hundred bucks. So I figured I was gonna go with these just to see how the long they last. Um, and so far I've had this for two days and now I can see it's already got a good amount of depth in it. That's because I do hit hard and, but that's fine. Um, we'll see how long each sticks last. But compared to my old sticks, this is a huge upgrade. And I am getting some um, Japanese Oakwood Vic for, um American Classics, or they're not American Classics. They're like Japanese sticks that apparently have the strongest wood. Um, so hopefully those will last a long time. So yeah, this is a great set. Um, I really love it. And um, also, 
my headphones. These are Audio Technica ATH M30Xs. As you can see right there. If those of you that don't know who Audio Technica are, um, they are an amazing, amazing company. Um, they are great. Um, I love the, I love their sound quality. It's insane. These were only sixty bucks, and they are great. Our review will be coming on those soon. But um. Yeah, great. And they, they even came with this super nice leather bag and plug it into. So yeah, that was my um set. I also have this Vic Firth, um um I also have this Vic Firth stick holder which I have um Timpani mallets in. And yeah, so that's really great. So yeah, that's my set. Um also uh, just a couple additional things I have. I should have this um random practice pad that I got at a garage sale for like two bucks. And then this is what I got for Christmas. It's Evan's Real Few practice pad. These I definitely recommend. They're octagon shaped, which is pretty cool. And they they um, feel like real drum heads. That's why it's called Real Few. <laughs> so if you take a stick right here and just look at how that sounds. Just hear how that sounds. That sounds like perfect, right? I know, that's great. <laughs> so yeah, I just keep those set aside with my sticks underneath it. These are the 12 pairs that I got. So I just have piles of excess sticks. So yeah, um, and then I should have piled random junk sticks and extra hardware over here in my tripod and stuff. But yeah, so that's my entire set. Thank you guys for watching this. Um, Stay tuned for more videos. Um, yeah, a review on the headset is coming soon. And more Christmas um, videos up soon. Bye.